Hi guys, some of you have complained that the slider tutorial in Elementor is no longer working because Elementor have made some changes in DOM structure. So in this tutorial, we will try to fix this and make this thing work again. So as you can see, I have a section in here with six columns and we will make this column a slider and we will use the exact same code from our first tutorial on June 19, 2020. And in here I have the simple CSS and JS plugin. I have a tutorial about this. It helps to insert JavaScript CSS uh, in our theme. So let's get started. First of all, as you can see, we have a section and inside this section we have six column. We need to make this column a slider. So if we inspect our column, as you can see, we no longer have the row. We have Elementor container and inside container we have all the columns. So somehow we need to target the container and the columns. Okay, uh, let me first copy our code from here. So this is our code as you can see this was for post slide we will modify it to make this thing work. And we also need to copy our CSS. So let's copy this CSS and insert in here. So now if we inspect uh, refresh our page nothing will happen and you one thing you have to keep in mind that Elementor also removed the sweeper JS and CSS from any page that doesn't use any slider. If you already have a slider in this page then we need to insert the JavaScript and CSS but if you use it on any new page we need to manually now input the sweeper JS and CSS. So go to the Google and search for sweeper slider and in here click get started and if you scroll a little bit you will see sweeper CDN so we need to copy this CSS and JavaScript link and paste it in custom HTML in this plugin or on the head section of your theme okay and make sure it is on the header click save and save so remember we need this because Elementor has removed the default sweeper JS from all the pages who doesn't use any slider okay we need to insert this manually now okay so now everything is set up and now let's keep that section a class name now let's call it slider section let's copy this class and in here previously we had to use elementor row uh, but in the in our case we don't have any row anymore okay so this column is inside container and this container is inside the section so we just need to target this section so put the class name of our section in here okay so for sweeper container this will be our section perfect so now for the next one sweeper wrapper we need to target our wrapper container of our column so that will be elementor container so let's copy this elementor container class and paste it in here and insert the section class in here and put a greater than sign because we want to target only the elementor container uh, that is inside the slider section okay so now duplicate this in here copy and paste in here for the sweeper slide we need to target our elementor column so copy this elementor column class and paste it in here put the greater than sign so this will be our sweeper container this section and the sweeper wrapper will be the elementor container inside that section and the sweeper slider slide will be the elementor column inside the sweeper uh, slider section and elementor container okay so everything is set so let's save this now if we refresh as you can see our slider is working perfectly so we have on currently two so if we go in here and make it 
3 as you can see now three column is showing perfect our navigation is showing on the top you can add a little bit of padding in the bottom area let's say 40 let's save this now the navigation is on the bottom so this is how we can make our, your slider working so if you have any question please uh, comment it on under the video okay so i'll see you in the next video